What's up guys, what's up girls, this is Jeremy and today I have a very important video for you, not a review, no specific fragrance I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about fragrances in general and why we all should wear fragrances, five reasons guys and girls. We start off with the first one, very simple, it's the only magic pill that we humans have these days. People constantly say, all right, get this, do this, and these magic steps to be more cool, to be more attractive. How long does it take to apply a fragrance? 3.75 seconds. Boom. Done. And you are more attractive than you have been before. So the first reason why you should wear fragrances, they immediately make you more attractive than you have been before. Hello everyone, so welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at another fragrance that I think is a 10 out of 10 fragrance. And this one is Zerzhov 1861 Naxos. So let's find out a little bit more important information about this one. Okay, so Zerzhov Naxos was first released in 2015. It's part of the 1861 line of fragrances. There are two others in that line. They are Renaissance and Zephyro. The top notes in this fragrance then lime, lemon and lavender. In the mid we have sandback, jasmine, cinnamon, honey and cashmere. And, and in the base it's tobacco leaf, tonka bean and vanilla. Prices. Lucky Scent in the USA has 100 mils of this one for $225. And Harvey Nichols in the UK lists 100 mils for £170. You might be able to get better deals than that at some discounters the official RRP may be a little bit higher than some of those prices it only comes in this 100 mil size and they have changed the presentation to a new bottle which I'll show you in a moment okay so that was some information about the fragrance let me describe how it smells this fragrance is one of my absolute favorites perhaps my favorite tobacco based fragrance what I think is the defining and magical thing about this one is the equilibrium they've achieved between the fresh opening notes of citrus with the sweetness the honey the, uh, the vanilla and the other sweet notes and that tobacco leaf note. They've blended them so perfectly and it just creates one very, very beautiful smell. It's quite a linear fragrance. When I spray it on, I feel that I get pretty much the same thing that I'm going to be smelling for quite a few hours after that as this fragrance goes on and what I was going to say develops, but it doesn't seem to develop massively or change massively. Even the element of a citrus freshener, the freshness that I smell in the beginning of this one seems to stick around for quite a while when I'm wearing it. And that's a good thing. So in the opening, you can detect those citrusy notes but straight away all the other stuff's there too there is a lavender smell in this one so if you like lavender and fragrances you're going to like that element of this one it reminded me a tiny bit of uh, the uh, sunshine man by amouage that kind of uh, lavender mixed in but not in a sort of typical barbershop way more of a very clever niche way of using lavender in a fragrance the uh, tonka bean the sweetness from the cinnamon and the honey is really really pleasant and never never cloying and that's what i love about this one it's never overpowering never gloopy or sweet so the fragrance is very much a unisex fragrance it doesn't really screech that it has to be a man or a woman it's one of those ones that truly is right down the middle but if you wear this as a man it doesn't come off as effeminate it smells classy it smells elegant it smells very rich and it has a very opulent grandiose almost kind of feeling about it but it smells modern it doesn't smell dated in any way that's what's really great about this fragrance it's very very versatile as long as it's an occasion where it's appropriate to give out a strong waft of smell so it's maybe not brilliant for work because it could be just a little bit much you could dose it very lightly for work but i think it's fine for any kind of casual daytime situation and certainly for all nighttime situations dressed up formal occasions yes no problem dates, that kind of thing, intimate or romantic occasions, absolutely ideal, really, really beautiful a fragrance. The only thing is be careful because the performance is quite strong. Let's hear a little bit more about the performance on this one. Performance on this fragrance is really excellent. It's very strong, it lasts a really long time and it projects really well. I would call this a beast mode fragrance, but I mean that totally in a good way. It's not the kind of smell that's annoying or smells like a guy who sprayed on too much cologne, but it gives very nice wafts for a very long time. Absolutely great for performance, this one. So yeah, very strong performing fragrance in the beast mode category for me, but nothing beastly about the smell itself. Very refined, very likeable, almost a light smell in the sense of a, a, the smell that has a light feel about it, although it's strong in projection. It's not heavy in the way that the scent smells. So it's 
beautifully delicate, balanced, niche smelling stuff. If you're looking for a niche fragrance, and uh, maybe you, you don't have many or any niche fragrances, this would be worthy of your consideration. Rather than going for something obvious for your first niche fragrance like Aventus, well, you can buy copies of that that smell very, very similar in the air. Also, even if you buy it and you prefer the smell of the real thing to the copies, a lot of people have smelled that kind of smell. Now, you're not going to stand out as being that unique. With this one, I think that you will. Tobacco fragrances, uh, there are plenty of other ones, but something about this one doesn't smell quite like anything else out there. And I find that when I wear this, I feel like, yes, I've paid a lot of money for this, but it was worth it. Speaking of that, it is expensive as we've heard there. This is Claire from the Smurfy Girly Channels bottle and I've got a decant of this one so I, it wasn't nearly as expensive as buying a full bottle. Look out for good deals online on this one. Partial bottles in Facebook groups are really worth thinking about and of course just discounts on a full bottle in the grey market or the decant like the 20 odd mils that I've got here obviously saved me a lot of money and because it's not an everyday one for me I, I, I tend to wear it more on nights out than anything else. Uh, the, yeah, it will last me a long time so don't be too put off by the high price but of course that is a slight mark against it. Uh, as for the comparisons with other fragrances, similar to Pure Havan to some extent by Thierry Mouda often compared to that one, that one has much more of a tarry patchouli note and the overall quality of ingredients feels much better in this one. I think they're just coincidentally rather similar, I don't think it's just a copy of that with higher quality ingredients but there's a similarity so if you liked that you could well love this one. For me I don't own Pure Havan because I've got this one, I prefer it by a long way. Uh, Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford is a much heavier, richer, denser smelling or a bit more in your face and sweet and gloopy, a little bit cloying to me smell. This one more delicate and lightly balanced so I feel this is a little bit more versatile and I prefer it to Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. Herod by Parfum Somali, have smelt that a few times. I have Rich Warm Addictive by Zara which is a, supposed to be a kind of copy or similar to that and again that one's more sweet and gloopy and cloying smelling although I do really like the smell of Zara's Rich Warm Addictive has a tobacco note as a very strong factor but for me this is my absolute favourite tobacco fragrance that I've smelled so far the masterful blend of tobacco leaf with cinnamon and honey and vanilla sweetness that is never allowed to get overpowering and is really skillfully balanced with the beautiful citrus notes. Of course, Zerzhov are great at citrus fragrances. Neo by them is sensational. I have a, a decant of that. Kobe or Kobe, similar stories. N lovely citrus fragrance. 1861 Renaissance, the other one from these guys, I have that too. Absolutely brilliant fragrance and they've just put a dash of that expertise in making brilliant citrus notes into this one to balance the other sweet stuff. So it's powerful, it projects well. It has a beautiful smell and it smells like you've spent that niche fragrance kind of dollar really well because this one does feel like it was worth the money to me. The design is absolutely beautiful of this bottle. The new one looks like this. That also looks pretty snazzy to me. I hope they haven't changed the smell at all. I don't think they would. So great performing, really unique smelling, really likeable, really complex for a frag head. There's plenty to satisfy your nose, but some pe people who are not interested in fragrances particularly are definitely, almost definitely going to like this one. Unlike maybe Tobacco Vanille, Tom Ford, a bit polarizing. This one, because of the balanced nature and the citrus elements, I think everyone will like it. But if you're a hardcore frag head, there's still plenty to keep you interested and excited. And that is why for me, Naxos is a 10 out of 10. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite tobacco scents are, what you think about Zerzhov, and what you thought about this video. As ever, thank you very much for watching. Whatever we're doing in life, let's project, and I'll see you next time.